sup basically in this video I'm going to teach you how to create this here sofa it's a very basic sofa I know it looks disgusting but um, it's actually brown leather as a material Ugh. anyway um, it's a very basic sofa just for more or less for basic uh, interior design. Um, you can make it more fancy using the techniques I show you, but I'm just going to show you how to create something quick and fast, and you can make it more advanced if you please. I can do that too, but there's no real need. Um, I'm going to say File, New. No, I'm not. I'm just going to close this one actually. And say New Families from this view, and say Metric Generic. Um, I'm, I'm going to be less detailed in my videos from now, by the way. I feel, I feel like I explained too much. Uh, I'm not going to baby you guys. You can think for yourselves, and when you think for yourselves, you actually learn a lot faster. Right, so I'm going to go to front view and say extrusion. Uh, I'm going to say rectangle. How, how long should I make it? I'll make it 200 millimeters high. And a thousand six one thousand seven hundred millimeters wide. Pick it, move it, center point to that point. This is more just I like doing it that way. I like it nice and central, but that doesn't really matter. Extrusion end, this is how far back you're going to extrude. Um say 500 yep cool 3d mode I'm gonna set this to realistic by the way or consistent colors anyway so I'm gonna go back to front say create extrusion a rectangle pick this I'll make it 100 millimeters wide and 160 high extrusion is set to 500 still so okay 3d mode boom right i'm going to go back to front view and i'm going to change that one i want it to have a curve on the top so i can double click it select the top say tangent end arc there we go uh, also, I do want to change the end. I want to make it 470 because I want the backboard to be to fit there. Say OK. 3D mode. OK, so now this is the front, that's the back. Cool. OK, now front view again. Select this, copy from here no cancel copy from that point to that point or you could mirror it along the center point and there we go right now the back go to first I want to say create set pick a plane say so, okay pick the top so now I can show it. it should be there. I did draw there. So basically anything I draw now will be on that surface. I did try that before though and it seemed to not work even though it should, which doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, uh never mind. Reference level. I need any view looking down. So even though I've selected reference level, I should be drawing. Oh, so now when I go to that level, I say set and say extrusion because that's the last piece of extrusion I've picked say OK um, right or you can say set pick a plane OK and it sh see now that's picking the side planes if I hit tab I'll hit the top plane I hope right it doesn't matter if I don't actually 
if it doesn't then maybe it's better because you can learn how to fix it without having to redraw say extrusion this rectangle there to there say okay now it's probably going to be quite high yep see you can select it and drag it down now I'm going to go to front view and I, I just want it to be in line with the top of the, the the start of those curved things. I'm going to say create reference line there to there. Select this and drag it up. Done. Select the reference line and delete. 3D mode. Um, let's say you pick you wanted this to be drawn on a different plane. You can say pick new or work plane. Uh, and then look, never mind, I'll leave that. Um, basically, if you drew that on the base and you said you realized it was drawn in this rectangle, inside the rectangle, instead of on top, you could select it and say pick new host. And you could say pick new face or pick new work plane and then select the top work plane. See? So if I pick that face, there you go, it's hosted to that face now. Obviously I don't want that, I want this. Now, that's your basic sofa done. Next, you need cushions. Front, no. Reference level. I'm good on time actually, I'm good on time actually. Um, measure, I want to measure here to here, 750, there to there, 470. Now, obviously, I want the cushions to come out of the sofa slightly, so I'll make them 750 by 500. Great. So, file, new, family. Now, I want a metric generic face-based family, not just a generic family. You can have the standard generic one, but face-based works, face works here. Um, well, it works more efficiently in what we're doing. So... This is still open, so I can come and check that if I forget. 750 by 500. Cool. Extrusion. Rectangle. There. Click. Select. 500. 750. Great. It's so, okay. 3D mode. It's a bit high. So, 100. Extrusion end, done. Um, now I want to cut, I want to give it curved edges because it's very pointy. So, create, avoid, avoid sweep, pick path, pick edges, edge, 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 edge. Now it's given me a little plane there, that's the work plane I'm going to draw on. That's the shape I'm going to cut out of this cuboid. Um, and say OK. Now I've given it the path. Now I need to give it a profile. Come here, edit profile, line. I'm going to make it 20. Press escape. 20 that way. Press, press escape. Three points point 0.1, point 0.2. Tangent, snap to the tangent, escape, OK. So now I'm out of the shape mode and say OK again. Now I'm out of the whole sweep mode. Select realistic. Cool. Now what I could do is I could go to the front view and I could mirror that down to this level and cut it out the bottom, which, which works. But I don't want to do that because... I'm going to go back to wireframe mode actually. I had some prob some problems doing it when I when I change the cushion, it doesn't seem to one side doesn't seem to associate to the other edge, which is annoying. So I'm going to create a new one because it's not that much effort. Create void sweep pick path 1 2 3 4. Yes. Profile. Edit profile. Snap to there, 20, escape, 
20, escape, 3 points, OK, done, kind of, yeah, yeah, done. Uh, realistic mode, just a C. Now select it. Material. Come down here. Fabric. I had some problems with materials actually, and then they're not loading in properly. I need to sort that out myself. Don't worry about it. I loaded in this ugly brown looking leather. Oh, it, it's fine. Okay, cool. Um, if I load that one in. Okay, that one's not fine. This one will have the leather look. Uh, anyway, okay. And now it's dinosaur skin. Load into project and close. I could save it. I'm not going to say no, but you should. Place on face because it's face based. And now I'll show you in 3D mode. If it's face based, it just snaps to whichever face you want to place it on. I want it on that face. So, reference level, select it, move, corner, corner, done. Now, select, copy, there, there, 3D mode, done. Now, I want to make these leather as well while we're here. Leather. Okay. Done. Now, we need the final cushions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save as these. I'm going to select these cushions and do a save as. Or, oh, well, yeah. You know what I mean. Select. Double click. Now, file. Save as. Don't change it, because if you change it, you'll change them in that uh, the previous file. So save as family, uh, I'll go to desktop. What the hell? Cushion. Whatever, uh, I've mistyped, but it doesn't matter. Obviously I know how to spell cushion, don't worry about that. It doesn't really matter even if I don't, because I'm only here to teach this, so, you know. Right, reference level. I'm going to make them shorter. Okay, hold on. 3D mode. Double click the cushion, not the voids. Reference level. Select the top. Just drag it down. You can give it a number if you want. I'm not going to. I'm going to say 360. Say yes. And those voids had snapped to those corners. Therefore, they are associated to those corners. Therefore, they shrink down. If I had mirrored one, one of them would have moved down with it, and the other one wouldn't have, and I would have had to adjust that. You may not have understood what I've said. Don't worry about it. If you make the mistake, you'll know. You'll know what I mean. Um, but if you've done as I said, it's cool. Say so yes. Now, place on face, 3D mode, that face. Uh, realistic mode, obviously that's not right, but we want, I'm going to show you in realistic mode what's going on, because it's easier to see. That's happening. Let's go to front view. Select, move, point. Well, I'm going to place it there and then move it again from here. Okay. That's quite annoying not snapping directly to that. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, that will do it though. It snapped perfectly in the center. But then again, the cushions are never perfectly aligned anyway. Select, move, no, copy. There to there. I mean, what I can do if you really want it perfectly in line is See, nothing's snapping to these, the top lines. You could measure the distance and then uh, place something at that level and then align it to that. Um, but never mind, it's not a big deal. And there you go, that is one so far done. I mean, it looks a bit funky, so I will 
change it just to show you how easy it is. It's a bit too tall. I'll say OK. Load into project and close. Yes. Yes, I want to change, save the changes. And yes, I want to overwrite existing parameters. Um, there you go. And that is how you create a sofa. I hope you've learned something. And please like and subscribe.